guys, today you're gonna get to know our story. Welcome back to another video. We're gonna go to the shop to get some snacks and then we're going to do a picnic. A picnic! Okay, so we're in the store, what are we gonna get? We're gonna get some fruit and we're going to make wraps for dinner. Yeah, but that's for dinner. We're going to a picnic after. Yes, so uh, for, for picnic, we're going to uh, eat ananas. <laughs> Which one do you want? The most dark red There's one. So many choices. One red. Uh, you can present the juice. What's in it? A blueberry, apple, yeah. and a lime. Ooh. And last but not least, Jules de Stroper with chocolate. That's what it's cool. Or maybe something else. <gasps> Oreos. I say chocolate chip. Guys, are you with me? Chocolate chip cookies are the best cookies, aren't they? They are. They are, right? They are. Are we going on a date? We are. <laughs> Beep. <laughs> Beep. <laughs> Alright guys, so we got um, pineapple, but we forgot a fork. That's <laughs> how our picnic goes. <laughs> we have Starting off strong. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And then we've got um, a smoothie. A smoothie. A smoothie. <laughs> a smoothie with blueberries, apple and lime, as we said before. Mm -hmm. And of course the, the chocolate chip cookies. We love chocolate chip cookies. Mm -hmm. Which are the best cookies ever. Comment down below <laughs> if, <laughs> if you think so too. Favorite cookie yes. <laughs> Oh, good, really good, really good. Ooh, mm -hmm. the lime in there is very refreshing. That's one annoying thing. I mean, guys, I love the climate, I love the planet, but I hate that the lids are now stuck to the bottles. I mean, I get why, like, like that they don't end up on the streets, but I hate this. Like, I never throw away waste. And I know that other people do this, but it's so annoying to drink out of, so it's yeah. no for me. But anyways, we're here to talk about something else and that. Uh, we're Tell them what the video is about. Yeah, this video is about um, us. About us. About how we met. And um, I only actually had one comment before that was wondering how we met and like our story. But honestly, it's just a nice story to share with you guys. Didn't we promise that one person to make a video about it one time? Yeah, we did. So we kind of you have did. to. <laughs> I did. So we were gonna like explain the story of how we met and how we end up in this relationship. Just sit tight with us, guys. Get yourself a drink and uh, enjoy the story, I guess. So we're just gonna do a little talk. Well, I'm just gonna start off with my story, like my part of the story from the beginning. So as you guys know, we're okay. <laughs> it's kind of obvious, but whatever. Um, so, uh, <laughs> so I really like guys who are like very masculine or like not very masculine, but just like masculine and not like that you can tell they're gay instantly, you know? Not That's, too zesty. Not too zesty, yeah. <laughs> That's my type. I mean, I love those guys, but they're not really my type. So every time I was like liking someone and I went up to them to ask if they were also into guys or not, it was always like a no. And um, I had this like on and off relationship with um, online dating apps. But eventually I decided because I asked so many guys and it was always like a no because they were all straight. And then I decided to download Tinder again and that's where I ended up on Tinder. Yeah, that's actually where we met, but tell us about 
the story that you got on Tinder? I don't really know why I downloaded Tinder in the first place. I guess I just wanted to know what gay dating was like, you know, but I've been to clubs and, and gay clubs, uh, gay bars and things like that. And I never found someone, first of all, my age. <laughs> <laughs> and second of all, someone that I would like to have a relationship with or at least something casual. So that's, that, that's actually why I uh, downloaded Tinder because I couldn't find anyone, you know, in, in real life. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I have tried. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, I think that's good that we both like tried in real life first mm -hmm. and got the confidence to walk up to somebody and like mm -hmm. ask if they were also into guys or not. Because that's that's I think like that's really important. Yeah, 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 that's a confidence thing that you need. Mm -hmm. But yeah, then we actually met on Tinder, so that's where we met. And I know it sounds so boring, but it, it was actually like way more than that. So mm -hmm. we just like met on Tinder at the end of August, so at the end of the summer. Yeah, I don't know why, but I think, oh yeah, his Snapchat was also on his profile, so. In my bio. In his, yeah, description, yeah. So <laughs> I saw that and uh, yeah, I, I just asked instantly like, hey, can I add you on Snapchat? And then we talked on Snapchat, but the connection was really good. I don't remember how fast it went, but it was really fast. Like, mm -hmm. I don't know, it just, I just felt a click already. Mm -hmm. Me too. Yeah, it was it was kind of funny, but the thing yeah. is, like, he's from just across the border from like the Netherlands, and I'm from Belgium, so it's like an hour drive by train or by car. So we were just thinking on how we should fix that problem. But I just came from like my gap year, and I knew that an hour driving from uh, for each other is not that far, because in Australia I've made multiple drives of like two to three hours, so one hour was nothing. Yeah, continue. <laughs> look, our first message was, you look like such a nice guy, but unfortunately you're 50 kilometers away from me or yeah. something. Yeah. <laughs> but I was like, it's not a problem. I think you made yeah. a, more a problem out of it than me. That's because true. you were not like used to traveling so uh, far. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. Far. yeah. yeah. And uh, then the 2nd of uh, September last year, we went on our first date and we went to Antwerp. Hmm? Um, Antwerp. 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 <laughs> yeah, it's like close to where I live. <laughs> and um, we were both really nervous, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and it was my first date ever. Yeah, because it was not my first date, but all the other dates I had, I mean, they were nice, but there was just not this connection. But we met like only one week after we started texting, which is also a tip that I would give. If you're ever like online dating, then you gotta meet up with the person quite fast, but call beforehand so you know the person is real and you get this feeling of... Mm, we haven't told about our first call. Oh yeah, yeah, well, because we, we Snapchatted and then we called once. Yeah, we called once as well, mm -hmm. which I was also nervous about. You were really nervous about the call. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because you said beforehand, wait, let me breathe for a minute. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you not remember? <laughs> so I was apparently also very stressed about calling. <laughs> yeah, I was like, okay, I'm not, not that sexy. <laughs> <laughs> you are. You are, yeah. thank you. But, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was like, this is a handsome man <laughs> wanting to meet me. So that's a very good opportunity. <laughs> but anyways, <So> <laughs> to breathe. To breathe. <laughs> for a minute. <laughs> Or more. <laughs> <laughs> we were at our first date and that was like nerve-wracking. Like the first call was stressful, but the first meetup was nerve-wracking. <laughs> and I remember that I, like we both arrived around the same time at the station in uh, Antwerp. He was going to the bathroom and he was like waiting up in queue. And I was just like wondering, or, like walking around and seeing where he could be. And then he got a t I got a text that he's at the toilets. And yeah, I read the text and I was very close by. So I just walked up to the, to to the like bathroom and there he was waiting in a queue. And then we just had our first good hug. And we were like so relieved, I guess. Like also <laughs> still stressed, but very relieved that we like saw each other for the first time. Yeah. And he could go to the bathroom. So we could have this like moment for ourselves to be like, okay, it's gonna be fine. I'm also really happy that the first meeting wasn't like awkward or something. Yeah, yeah, that was really good. Totally not awkward. Yeah. And then we went to eat, um, yeah, a bread. <laughs> a sandwich. A sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> and after the sandwich, we walked up to the river. We, we walked, ate. We ate the uh. sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, the sandwich was disgusting, but besides that, we just like walked around the city and he was like asking me the whole time if he could go to a park. But I was like, I don't know if there's any parks in Antwerp nearby. 
but of course in every city there's a park but I, I i couldn't think of one but then we went to a park and we lay down a blanket like today we, ju we were just like sitting like this <laughs> I think, right? Like, no, nah, like a, a, a little, little closer. There was a little distance between us. <laughs> a little distance, yeah. yeah. And I was just nah, thinking... Especially when we were eating the sandwich, there was <laughs> a big, big distance between us. Yeah. It was like this. <laughs> That's how we ate our sandwich. <laughs> like, like we were going to bite each other. You <laughs> too. <laughs> I love his eyes. <laughs> They're so cute when he smiles. <laughs> <laughs> I think I just got a little closer like this but like that was like in my mind a lot yeah but not significant for him of course I remember something you said sometimes I'm well actually I'm always kind of afraid to make a first move yeah I, I'm <laughs> afraid of making a first move and that's when he's when he said like I was like this my shirt smells really weird <laughs> <laughs> and I was I didn't even think about the trap, but I was like, huh? <laughs> and that's how <laughs> he made the first move. It's so bad. It's so funny. It's so funny. <laughs> and then I was like, I, I don't know. I don't know. I think I was like in love. I was like, ah, that's so cute. And we, like all the ducks we had before, it all matched. Mm -hmm. And I think we then just like lay down and I was like laying on top of him like on his on chest, chest. <laughs> um, and I think we just hugged there for quite a long time and people were just like walking by and I, I felt very comfortable and um, yeah we were just like laying the whole time and I think after a while we were comfortable oh yeah of course a very important detail then the music was playing you oh, had a little yeah he had yeah. a little speaker with I started him. playing music on my yeah I was prepared yeah I brought a blanket I brought a present a present as well because my birthday was like soon so he gave me my favorite chips that I talked uh -huh. about and I brought a speaker and he brought a speaker and he was playing music yeah. and then at a certain <laughs> moment Bruno Mars was playing with an um, uh, with a song marry you and then I was like okay this is the moment I never had a first kiss or anything before and it was like not a big kiss or something but yeah I, I remember it was a song and we looked at each other and we we're like <laughs> okay I think this is the moment and then we just gave her each other a little kiss <laughs> after like I don't know signature for like five hours or something yeah it was a really long first date yeah I, yeah. I don't think there are a lot of couples that such a long date for the first no, time it was like nine hours or something <laughs> the first date was nine hours and you were talking a lot yeah I was but talking I, a lot I like that because I I don't know I don't like to do a lot of talking so if the other does it yeah <laughs> i'm good but the thing is that you're also a good listener and you're a good talker too like you have something to tell because i've had dates where i was just talking the whole time because i don't like to have like a quiet moment on my first date that's just something that i have in my mind yeah, but you just wanted to avoid that yeah with him like even when it was quiet it didn't feel awkward at all yeah i don't know i just felt very loved already at the first date <laughs> and then yeah, we had our first little kiss. Yeah, I think we went to drink something, like a uh, cherry beer. Cherry beer. Because we missed the train. <laughs> and then uh, he had to go, unfortunately. And then ever since, we met up every weekend. Mm -hmm. uh, apart from one time that we were on vacation. Ever since that day, we've seen each other every single weekend. And we always, like, we first did, like, a day. And then I think after three or four weeks, we already did weekends. Mm -hmm. Because it's... Also good. Well said. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but it's also very good to like get to know each other better, you know, because you're like doing more of your routines together. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Did you already tell your the people that we are going to Iceland this summer? We're going to Iceland this summer, but not with the two of us. No. We're also going with his dad and his brother. Yeah. But it's gonna be our first travel together and I'll take you guys on a vlog. <laughs> so we don't even know each other for a year and we're already going on a holiday with yeah. each other. Yeah. And with my family. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? I'm just so happy that it really connects well with the families as well. Like I think we both connect well mm -hmm. with our parents. Yeah, that's true. I really like that. Yeah. Also, you were the first guy that I actually had a really big interest in. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but that's. Um, I mean, you were like. I don't know how to say it in English, but like he was also like my first guy that I really felt this like mutual um, connection with. Because, I mean, I was out before 
like like longer than him so i had the opportunity to be interested in guys and be open about that but i think this was the first time that i really felt understood and that i thought it was very compatible so in that way it was also like my first time that i think it was like relationship material you know <laughs> yeah it's even husband material <laughs> <laughs> but that's the that's the first story we wanted to share so our first date and how we met and of course rather in real life than tinder always but sometimes it's the opportunity that you have to go for we tried we tried tried. exactly (laughs) but i'm not i'm not like mad for it you know like (laughs) it turned out good for us so we're glad we found each other but it would have been more special if we met in real life yeah and had like a a story a story but because now everyone every time someone asks us how we met we have to say tinder yeah yeah and then then i always try to make to tell the story as well, because Tinder is not the only part of our meetup, but it is our meetup, you know. So guys, yeah, if you like this and um, you like my channel, you can always subscribe. I'm sorry to turn this into a commercial suddenly, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> you can always subscribe to the channel and you can also give this video a like. I appreciate every comment, please, if you think otherwise. I mean, you can try to speak it out nicely, um, but be like respectful to each other (laughs) and yeah that's just our story and i wish you a very good day or night or whatever and uh, i'll see you soon with another video on my channel bye (laughs) see how pretty